24 Hitch 2, Microsoft have announced some huge improvements with Windows Laps, the local admin password solution. It's now even more integrated into Windows and has many more customizations available. I'm going to have a look at this on my Dell XPS 13 and I thought I'd just try it out. A note before we start, while all of this is generally available and built into Windows 24 Hitch 2, it's not actually in the Intune user interface yet, so we're going to have to play around with the CSPs behind the scene in order to take a look. Laps used to be quite annoying to set up. You used to have to create the local account and tell Laps which account that was so that it could manage it. It was just messy. That's all fixed now though because we have automatic account management. And like I say, this is generally available but not yet in Intune. When it's in the UI, it will be very simple to configure. For now, I've had to take a look at the CSPs and get this configured. So let's jump into my console and take a look at what we've configured. Now, before we jump into the console, actually, let's take a look at the, uh, the announcement website we've got here. So we've got local lab in password solution, lapse improvements. We have this one here. This is the one I want to talk about. Automatically create the managed local account create, uh, configure the name of the account, enable or disable the account, and randomize the name of the account. That's the thing I really think I'm going to be interested in right now. So I've configured some of this already because it takes a little while to get to the PC, and I don't want that to be a time where I'm just sitting here waiting while on camera because that would be weird. So it's already there, right? But I want to show you what we configured, and then we'll jump over to the PC and take a look at how it looks. So what we configured is actually in this CSP here. So we've got uh, automatic account management enabled, sorry, enable account, enabled, name or prefix, randomized name and target. Now when you go into each of these, they're the CSPs and you get all the documentation for it. I mean, if I just click on the enabled one there, you can see that you use this setting to specify whether the account, the automatic account management is enabled. So will it automatically create the account? And this is a bool, so true or false and the allowed values are true or false. It'll by default it off and then you can turn it to true. Funnily enough, I've turned it to true so I can test it. So let's have a look at the uh, custom profile I've created. So Windows Laps 24H2 is what I've called it. It's a custom policy type. We'll go into there, scroll down. I'll choose edit so we can see this as it would be if you were creating it from scratch. I'll show you which ones I've created. They are the automatic account management enable. Let me make that a little bit bigger so we can see it. Enable account, enable name or prefix, randomize, and target. And then all these other ones about where it'll back up to. The uh, the passwords we'll go into in a moment. So let's take a look at this one here. I'm gonna just go there and choose edit. And this one is enable account. I've set that to true. Very simple. This one here is obviously going to be true as well. Let me just go to the string one. So this is the name or prefix. So I have asked it to be called 24H2. Now it says prefix, right? Why Why are we talking prefix? A prefix is something that is prepended, so added to the start of a value. So that means there's something coming afterwards, right? Well, let's take a look at the next bit here. A bit bigger. Randomize name. Choose edit on that. And you can see it is the randomized name feature and it's set to true. And what this means is that it will randomize the name of the account. Let's take a look in the documentation and see what that means. So randomize, randomize name. So use this setting to configure whether the name of the automatically managed account uses a random numeric suffix each time the password is rotated. That's the account name. So every time the password rotates, it rotates the account name as well with a random suffix. That's interesting. Let's see actually how that will look when we configure it, when we create it. So I'll just move down to the next one. So the account management target we need to configure. And I've got automatic account management target one. So let's look at target. So it must be... Uh, okay, so zero is the built-in admin account as used and one is a new account will be created by Windows Labs and managed. Fantastic. So I've set it to one. Okay, 
we'll choose save and review and save. I've not actually made any changes, but that's what I clicked. So we're all good. Uh, and I've deployed that to my computer. So I guess the next step is to go over to the computer and see what we've got there. Into the event viewer, I'm gonna go to apps and services, down to Microsoft, Windows, find laps. And in here, we should have a few things. So, laps, let's go back to lots of things happened around then, right? So, the laps policy processing is starting. It's configured, so password agent data is 30. Complexity is eight. Now the complexity is something that I didn't show you actually, so I should show you that in a minute. But um, actually complexity is, they've added a new complexity feature and rather than it being where right now when you configure laps it just randomly generates a horrifying string of characters that is really difficult to read out to end users and there is things like o's and zeros that look similar and i's and and ones that look similar and so it's very difficult to make sure you get it right and so they've not only have they made a feature that removes those conflicting characters that could be misread They've also changed, uh, added, added another feature called, which is listed as eight, which is passphrases. So you can uh, you can set it to use actual words rather than random sets of characters, which is what I've chosen in this one. So we'll see that. Password length is 14. Uh, the grace period is 24 hours. And the account management name is 24H2. And then we've got some other features that I, ena I enabled, as you saw. So let's go back to this then. Uh, it is, it all looks, all looks green and happy. It seems to be all good. So that's that done. And now we'll see what that actually looks like in the Intune console, right? So over to devices, to Windows. I only have one device, but there it is local admin password so last password rotation was exactly when it mentioned that in the logs that's about the right time that's what we, that's what we saw we're going to choose show local admin password and you can see that the security identifier is this and we have this account name so 24h2 that was the prefix that i set and now we have 319892 that looks like a random suffix to me if ever I've seen one. So that presumably will change when the local admin password gets reset. Let's look at the local admin password though. <laughs> Duvet Pedometer Glove is what has been chosen, which is much easier to read out to an end user who wants to use a local admin password than a random string of characters that is like 16 characters long. So that's the improvement and change they've made. Now, I will make it clear that Microsoft still recommend you use the impossible to use version of this password. If I show you uh, the complexity. So with the passphrase, I set it to eight, which is short words with unique prefixes. Um, Unique pre I'm not really sure what unique prefixes were here, but short words. Um, and Microsoft still recommend you use the number four, which is this one here. Large letters, small letters, numbers, and special characters without any improved read readability. Five, though, this one here, is where you can enable, you can enable improved readability for that ridiculously complex password. So it, it's... Um, removes the silly zeros and O's because they're just annoying. So that's the improvements they've made to laps. And as I say, I've had to configure it in the annoying way through the CSP. Very soon it will appear in this blade here. If I go to, uh, on the left-hand side, if you go to endpoint security, down to account protection and create policy windows, windows laps, create, Call it laps, but it's not going to be created because it is the old version. So nothing here about automatic name creation. 
nothing here about passphrases, although we do have improved re readability already. That's good to see. So obviously they're making some changes. I don't know when that came out, but that's good to see. Password length, yeah, it's the, the passphrase thing isn't there yet and the automatic creation feature isn't there. But other than that, I think it's a massive improvement. I'm really impressed that they've released something that I was actually annoyed by and they've uh, made it better with 24H2. So that's good to see. I, I need to figure out more about the things that are changing in 24H2 as well. So now that I've got this PC and I've got it upgraded to the latest version, I'm going to play through that a bit more and see what else we've got. See you next time.